Hi there everyone, this is Ms. Rickfelder and I am going to be working with you today on dividing whole numbers by fractions. The standard we're working on is actually um, 6.ns.1, which is to apply and extend previous understanding of multiplication and division to divide fractions by fractions. You're going to interpret and compute quotients of fractions and solve word problems involving division of fractions by fractions by using visual fraction models. So that's the important part here. We're going to be using visual fraction models. Now I want you, um, and it says and equations, to represent the problem. So let's do the equations as well. All right, so the important part here, um, first I want you to understand that this is a stepping stone video. So this is not a video that's actually going to teach this particular standard, but it's a stepping stone to get to the standard. So basically I just want to make sure that you understand how to divide whole numbers by fractions, and then we'll be using fractions by fractions. Um, using models as well. So as you can see at the top of the paper, you'll see write, all, write it all down. So as I'm going through this video, I'd like you to write everything that you see on the screen, including everything you see on this first page. So this is what your first page should look like. The title of your notes should say divide whole numbers by fractions using models, and then you should have the standard below it. Let's go ahead and get started. The first problem that we're going to look at is 3 divided by 3 fourths. So first we're going to go ahead and draw our three units and then you can see that I have a little text box out here. The reason it's a text box is because I want you to realize that this is what you're supposed to be thinking when you see this problem. How many groups of three-fourths are in three whole units? So that's why we started with those purple three boxes. If you have colored pencils, you want to go ahead and use those now so that you can write them, um, you, you can draw this in colored pencil in your composition notebook. So now what we're going to do, after we've drawn the three whole units, this is where it starts to get a little um, trickier, I guess. This is where the work starts. So the first step is going to be to draw three similar boxes just below the three whole units. Because we're going to leave the three holes at the top, the purple ones, we're going to leave those alone so that we remember that that's what we started with. The red boxes, you want to go ahead and draw just below the purple boxes. So once you've drawn that, then you're going to decide how many slices you need to slice each red box into. The number that you're going to use for that is the denominator of the divisor. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So right there, I've drawn an arrow and it says how many slices for each box. So that 4 in the denominator of the divisor tells us how many slices for each box. So we need 4 slices for every red box. So also, the numerator will tell us how many slices make one group, but we'll get there in just a second. So how many slices for each box? That four tells us we need four for each one of those red boxes. Then our next step is going to be what I see here in green. It says how many slices make one group? Because remember, it says how many groups of three-fourths are in three whole units. So now we need to know how many slices make one group. Well, that's three. So for every three of these slices, that will be one group. So stay with me as I show you each group. So you have one-fourth, one-fourth, and one-fourth. That makes one group of three-fourths. <clears throat> one-fourth, one-fourth, one-fourth. That makes another group of three-fourths. One-fourth, one-fourth, one-fourth. And one-fourth, one-fourth, one-fourth. <laughs> so as you can see, we have one, two, three, and four groups of three-fourths. So the answer to our problem, and again, you want to use your colored pencils here so that you can clearly see the different colors and the groupings. So now um, you can see <clears throat> the answer to our problem is four. So the steps I want you to go ahead and write down now because I just showed you how to do the problem, but I want you to be able to refer back to this to remember how to do it on your own. So the first step is to draw the same size rectangle under the original ones shown. So we did that. Those were our red boxes. The second step was to look at the denominator of the divisor so that you could figure out, um, one second, that's our divisor, that's our dividend, and that's our quotient. So to decide how many slices to cut each box in two. And then the last piece there says to look at the numerator of the divisor, and remember that was that three, to decide how many slices to bracket together to form a group. Okay, so easy peasy, that's what we needed to do to use fractions, um, to use models to divide fractions and whole numbers. So now let's go ahead and go on and let's try it on your own. Now it's your turn. I want you to go ahead and write this problem. So the problem says two divided by two fifths. And remember that that's sort of like my little text box here, this, um, this bubble. How many two fifths are in two? Okay, so you wanna go ahead and write that. And now I want you to pause the video 
So now I want you to go ahead and pause the video. Sorry about that. And I want you to look back at your notes, the ones we just took here and here. And I want you to use the information from this example to go ahead and work this problem out. So go ahead and do that now. All right, great. So hopefully you started with two whole units. So let's go ahead and paste one of those here. So there's one whole unit. And oops. Let's go ahead and paste another one right here. So there's my second whole unit. So that's because we have that two right there. So you wanted to start with those two whole units. And remember, our first step was to draw the exact same rectangle just below it. So I'm going to use my red again. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it right here just below it. There's one. And there is two. All right, so now remember, you were supposed to look at the denominator of the divisor, so that is the five right here, to decide how many slices are in each box. So you should have made five slices in each box. Okay, now as you can, now as you can see here, um, in order to make, let me go back actually, in order to make five slices, you actually only need four cuts. So one, two, three, four, and if you count, you've got one, two, three, four, five boxes. So you want to do the same thing over here. You want one, two, three, four cuts in order to make your five pieces. So you just want to double check and count one, two, three, four, five. Because remember, it's important to be accurate here because if you're not accurate with your number of slices, then the whole problem is wrong because you're using these models to actually solve the problem. So now your next step was to look and see, you wanna look at the numerator so that you can decide how many makes up one group. Okay, so as we can see from our numerator, for every two slices, that will count as one group. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you can see we did one fifth and one fifth, so that's a group of two fifths. Then we have another group of one fifth and one fifth, so that's another group of two fifths. Then we're going to have another one-fifth and one-fifth. That's a group of two-fifths. Then we have one-fifth and one-fifth. That's another group of two-fifths. And we're almost done. Lastly, we have one-fifth and one-fifth. And that's another group of two-fifths. So now that we've, we're done bracketing them all, we can see that we have a total of one, two, three, four, five groups. So to answer our question, two divided by two fifths equals five. So you wanna be sure to write that there. So this is how you use models to solve dividing um, whole numbers by fractions. See you next time.